For over six decades, Doc Martens have crafted iconic boots recognized by their signature yellow stitching and air cushion soles. Join me as I delve into the brand's history and see how they've evolved and grown. Before we get started, please comment down when you got your first pair of Doc Martens and why did you get a pair of Doc Martens? Dr. Martens were originally designed by an actual doctor, a German army doctor named Klaus Martins. Martins. Towards the end of World War II, he injured his ankle in a skiing accident. While he was recovering from his injuries, he wanted a pair of boots with better cushioned sole for walking and standing. When he couldn't find any boots like what he wanted, he decided to make his own. Some sources say he got his inspiration from car tires, how the air in the tires makes for a comfortable ride. So he wanted to use the same concept, but for shoes. His biggest problem was he did not know how to make boots. But luckily for Dr. Martins, he had a university friend, Dr. Herbert Funk, who was a mechanical engineer and he was the missing link to make his idea come to life. They began making their footwear and it gained popularity amongst older women. After having success with their new footwear, they wanted to expand the brand. So they put an ad in the magazines and to their surprise, one of the largest shoe manufacturing company in the UK were interested in their vision. So they flew to Northamptonshire, talked to the Griggs family about a license agreement for the footwear. Once they agreed on everything, they changed the name from Martins to Doc Martins. Also, they made some changes like they altered the sole also, another company called MPS, the Northampton Share Productive Society, were also producing Dr. Martins. But it was unclear what happened because they had some issues with the license agreements. The first pair of Doc Martins were created on April 1st, 1960 in the Griggs factory. They called it the 1460s because of the date that it was made. At first, these boots were popular within the working class who wore them as part of their uniform. The second pair of Doc Martens came a year later, the 1461s. There were more a lower cut of the 1460s. In the mid 60s, a guitarist called Pete Townsend played in the band called The Who. And while he was on stage playing, he ended up smashing his guitar for the first time. During this era, this was weird and unacceptable. So the crowd did not react how he wanted. He said he smashed the guitar because he felt like he was not good enough. Around the late 60s, he decided to get himself a pair of Doc Martens to protect his feet. And as the band grew in popularity and they saw that he was wearing some Doc Martens, the boots also gained in popularity. Around the early 70s, Doc Martens were embraced by the skinheads and the modernist subculture in the UK. The boots grew as a symbol of the working class and could be worn with jeans or even a suit. The skinheads used Doc Martens as a rebellion against the hippie movement. The band The Who continued to grow in popularity and they turned their best album, Tommy, into a film in which Elton Brand wore some massive Doc Martens, which gave the brand even more popularity. In the latter half of the 70s, Doc Martin trend began to be embraced by the punk scene in the UK. The boots continued to be a symbol of rebellion and unconformity. They were often paired with leather jackets and ripped jeans. At this time, it was becoming a trend for Doc Martens to be associated with music and fashion. Unfortunately, the punk scene did not last too long. But at this time, Doc Martens were only selling for 20 pounds. And the company was looking to evolve by making newer styles of Doc Martens because by the early 80s, there was another trend. This time, what was popular was the two-tone era. It was ska, reggae influenced music with punk, rock, and pop music overtoned. The fans were a mixture of skinheads, rude boys, and modernists. Around this era, their style also changed as well. People dress up in suits, have their button-up shirt, pants, and a pair of Doc Martens. While the two-tone movement was going on in the UK, Doc Martens were starting to pick up in America. But unfortunately, they were looked down upon because they were associated with the skinheads. So in the late 80s, Doc Martens wanted to expand the brand even more. They were trying to get into the female market. 
The 90s marked a significant shift for Doc Martens, as the brand moved from being primarily associated with subcultures to being embraced by the mainstream. And Doc Martens continued to expand their product line, introducing new styles, new colors, so that everyone can be included. And the company focused on fashion, and its product became popular with people who were looking for comfortable and stylish footwear. Towards the late 90s, Doc Martens sales started to rise, simply because of the pre-millennial tension. The company found it very hard to produce their boots in England, so they decided in the early 2000s to move their manufacturing to Asia because it was cheaper and the company almost filed for bankruptcy. They ended up keeping the original factory in Northamptonshire, where they produce the Made in Englands. In the 2000s, the boots were embraced by people of all ages, walks of life, and it continued to grow in popularity. The company began to focus on sustainability and social responsibility. They started to introduce eco-friendly products and materials. It also began to support various charitable causes. And this marked a new direction for Doc Martens as the brand began to emphasize its commitment to creating a positive impact in the world. They started collaborating with artists or companies so that they can make a special type of Doc Martens. They removed the shank for most of their boots and also they trademarked the yellow stitching so that they can sue any company that's tried to copy their style. In the 2010s, Doc Martens released the Jaden, which is a fierce evolution of the original 8i boots the 1460s. Also, they started creating non-leather Doc Martens, for example, the Comtech. Today, Doc Martens are worn by people of all ages and walks of life, from punks to fashionistas to office workers. The boots have become a symbol of self-expression, and they're loved by people all over the world.